Video number 242, scientific notation. Here is what scientific notation is. It is a notation that displays the numerical values with less digits by using powers of 10. So these first two examples, perhaps, uh, a lot of times you'll have uh, lottery is up to, they'll, they'll call it 5.3 million. Well, that's just short for 5,300,000. Now, scientific notation is going to use a power of 10 to display that amount. It's going to take uh, the 5 and the 3 and use those as the, the significant digits, 5.3. Then we multiply by 10 to a particular power. In this case, multiply it by 10 to the 6th power because if you were to take 5.3 times 10 to the 6th, that's the same as 5.3 times a million. So therefore, it's 5.3 times 10 to the 6th means 5.3 million. That's a very common uh, usage of the scientific notation in real life that you'll hear the lottery numbers is 5.3 million. Um, it's oftentimes quite useful in science when you're using, um, you're taking very, very small measurements of various solutions and stuff that you're going to be putting in petri dishes and things like that. So if you had this number here, instead of saying 0 .000891 grams, um, we would just call it 8.91 times 10 to the negative fifth grams. Now there probably is a unit of measure um, that you could probably use instead of this and this is just a way of using scientific notation. You could see the benefit for it. Obviously if you had a number of various zeros in here we would probably want to use uh, scientific notation just for the sake of using less digits. So notice here the 6 for the first example moves the decimal place to the uh, to the right 6 places the negative moves this decimal back to the left 5 places that's why this is a spot here so 1 2 3 4 and then 5 so why does it work the reason it works is because if you took 78.94 for example and multiplied by 10 to the fourth, that's the same thing as 78.94 times 10,000, which of course moves the decimal over four places. So you would end up with uh, 7894. And then actually, yeah, we one, two, three, and then four. So actually, this one's wrong. We're going to cross that one out. This is just simply 78940 because we moved the decimal place over one, two, and then two more places. So one, two, and then two more. Oh, actually, no, we were right the first time. We were right the first time. So seven, eight, nine, uh, four with two zeros. There's, that's definitely 789,400. All right, we're in good shape. Next one, if we took 78.94 multiplied by 10 to the negative fourth, that would be the same as 78.94 times one over 10,000. So if you need to look up negative exponents, Please do do so so you can understand what that would mean. And that this is exactly what it means. We're going to be taking the 10, putting it in the denominator, and using the 10,000 in the denominator. If you were to multiply this together as a, this times a fraction, you'll have the 78.94 over 10,000, which causes us just simply to move the decimal to the left four places. So that's why you'll have one, two, and then uh, two more zeros in front. So therefore, 0 .007894 would be the same as this. Okay, so we're going to take a look at two examples, rewrite the following to scientific notation. We have 78, looks like, is that billion? Let's see here. We have um, thousand, we have million, then we have billion. So we have 78.1 billion, and then we have uh, 0 0.006881. And here's how it all shakes down. Bam! 7.81 times 10 to the ninth power, as we move the decimal place over nine places. Guys, scientific notation is specific to the fact that you will have one decimal place in front of the, I'm sorry, one digit in front of the decimal place. So you'll have, it, it won't, you'll, you won't write this as 78.1. It'll always have a, just the one uh, digit. Same thing here, we're just gonna put a decimal right after the six, then just count the number of places. And it's of course four spots, so therefore, 6.81 times 10 to the negative fourth. And there you have it. That is scientific notation, and we will talk to you later.